Good evening, Raynan. How, how are you? Good evening. I am fine. And Great. you? I'm good. Thank you very much for asking. So, and I'm happy because it's it's Friday, right? So the weekend is coming. Are you working on Saturdays? No, no. Uh, no, so you don't work. You don't week. work on Saturdays. Oh, only from Monday to Friday. Okay, very good. Excellent. Yes, yes. That's good. That's good. So today's your last day, right? Great. Awesome. So let's see. Hello, Edwin. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. So you're going to be as a listener tonight. I understand. Okay. Yes, teacher. Please. All right. We are just waiting for other classmates to join the class, okay? Let's just wait for a couple of minutes, so you're, right? Maybe one or two more. So we have Evelyn coming also. Good evening. How are you, Evelyn? I'm fine. Thanks. And you, teacher? I'm very good. Thank you very much for asking. I was telling Reina that I'm happy because it's Friday, right? Uh, sorry, no. No le escuché. No problem. I was telling uh, Reina that I am happy because it's Friday. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes, yes. Another listener. I saw there another person. Is that, that was Mr. Luna. I don't know what happened. Ursula is coming as well. Okay. Okay, excellent. So we already waited for a couple of minutes to see if more people join the class. So I'm happy to see also Daniel now in the class. Good evening, Daniel. Good evening, Ursula. How are you tonight, guys? Good evening, fine. Good evening, teacher. Great, excellent. So thank you very much for joining the class, right? So I'm so happy to see you here, guys. Um, and uh, well, let's start right now so we can take advantage of the time, right? So so maybe in the couple of minutes, you know, more classmates are going to join the class, right? So and they can also participate in the activities, right, that we have here. So let's see. Okay. This is the one we're sharing right now. Okay. Please confirm when you can see the new screen here. Please, 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 please. Excellent. So according to me, it's supposed to be there already. Can you see it? All right, let's see. Can you see the screen? Yes? Yes. yes Thank you very can. much. All right, excellent. So let's just start here with the first activity for tonight, which is gonna be this one. 
Okay, there you go. It is one of my favorite activities. As I told you before, I really love this type of activities because it 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 really likes me when you guys are able to participate having a nice pronunciation and intonation, right? So, and also this activity helps you to have um, a really good fluency, right? So this is a tongue twister and the tongue twister for tonight, it's about Peter Piper, all right? So, and it says right here, let me read it for you, of course, before, right? So it says, Peter Piper picked a peck of pico peppers. A peck of pico peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pico peppers, where are the pico peppers Peter Piper picked? Easy, right? So I don't know you, but to me, it's very easy. Okay, so um, do you have questions about the pronunciation? Yes. Or no, my friends. Repeat again, please. Of course, I will be more than happy to help you with that. All right. So let's continue again. Pay attention. I will be repeating one more time slowly, of course. Right. So Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Where are the pickle peppers Peter Piper picked? All right, so let's see. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You guys understood that? So let's practice, practice. Come on, everybody. I want to see you like practicing right there, all right? Remember, one more time. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle peppers. A peck of pickle peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pico peppers, where are the pico peppers Peter Piper picked? All right. Excellent. So I will give you right now two minutes, two minutes, two minutes to practice it, all right? So, and then we are going to choose some volunteers. Come on, let's do it, all right? Good evening, um, Guillermo, Gil, all right, who are joining the class right now. Mr. Luna as a listener, good evening. All right, so please, everybody, continue practicing the tongue twister that we have for tonight, right? So let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm -hmm. Practice, practice, practice. We will choose some people in a couple of minutes. All right, so remember, one more time, I'm going to repeat it for you. Peter Piper picked a peck of pico peppers. A peck of pico peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pico peppers, where are the pico peppers Peter Piper picked? All right, so let's see here. Who's practicing, practicing, practicing? I see Noe practicing, I see Ursula practicing, I see Daniel practicing, all right, which I guess are the possible volunteers with Evelyn, all right. One more minute, one more minute. You can do it. One more minute, one more Okay, okay. Remember, one more time. Peter Piper picked a peck of pico peppers. A peck of pico peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pico peppers, where are the pico peppers Peter Piper picked? All right, all right. That's it, that's it, that's it. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so let's see.
Okay, almost time, almost time. Okay, very good. Time up, time up, time up. All right, everybody. Now it's actually time for some volunteers. Who is going to be my volunteer number one for tonight? Daniel, Ursula. Evelyn, all right, who is going to be my volunteer? Uh huh. Just one volunteer, please. One volunteer, all right? So tell me who's going to be my volunteer? Me, teacher. Excellent. Who said me over there? I couldn't see that. Okay. Peter. Nuria, Nuria. Hello, Nuria. Sorry. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Okay. Uh, Peter Piper. Picket a pack of picket. Peepers a pack of picket. Peepers Peter Piper picket. If Peter Piper picket a pack of picket. Picket peppers. We are the picket peppers. Peter Piper picket. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Thank you very much. That was actually a good job. Just remember, it's not Peter Piper. It will be Peter Piper. Repeat it. Peter Piper. Peter Piper. Exactly. Very good job. Excellent. Thank you. And thank you for being the first volunteer. All right. So now let's see the next one. Uh, according to what I can see here, it's Evelyn. Hello, Evelyn. Hello, teacher. All right. Go ahead, my friend. You can do it. Okay. Peter Piper pick a pack of pickled paper. A pack of pickled papers, Peter Piper pick. If Peter pick, Piper pick it, pick mm -hmm. a pack of pickled papers. Where are the pickled papers, Peter Piper pick? There you go. Excellent. Thank you very much. Right. So thank you. You did good as well. I really like it. Thank you for participating. Very good job. All right. Any other volunteer? Mm -hmm. Come on, people. Let me check the list to see who is already in the class. I'm so right sorry, here. teacher. It's very difficult, but lo voy a intentar. I'm trying. Don't worry, Daniel. Remember that the most important part here in this activity is to try. Right, so lo más importante es intentar. Right, so así se empieza. So don't worry. Go ahead. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled paper. A pack of pickled paper. Peter Piper picked and Peter Piper and Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled paper. Where are the pickled paper feet? Peter Piper pocket. Like right. that. All right. All right. Excellent. So don't get confused, right? Do not say Peter Parker because that's a Spider Man. All right. So this is Peter Piper, remember. All right. But thank you. You see? Okay. All right. You want to try again? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So don't worry. So you can do it. All right. Thank you, my friend. Thank you for trying, right? Another volunteer? Uh, let's see. Oh, someone says me. Hello, Ursula. Hello, teacher. Okay, Ursula, the tone twister is yours. Now, please tell me. Go ahead. Okay. Peter Piper pick a, pick a pack of pickled peppers. A pick of pickled peppers. Peter Piper pick. If Peter Piper pick a pack of pickled peppers, where are the pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Excellent. Thank you very much. That was actually very good, right? So I can see that you were practicing the tongue twister a lot, all right? So very good job. I like it. So good, 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 good. 
Thank you. Okay. Well, I can see I have more people now in the class, so perhaps I can have another volunteer. Who will be my next volunteer? Let me see. Next volunteer. Uh -huh. I have Carlos. I have, um, let's see. Oh my goodness, a lot of listeners tonight. Maritza, Noé. Uh -huh. Carlos, Maritza, and Noé. Who's going to be my volunteer? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good, Good evening. Uh, voy a intentarlo, teacher. Okay, go ahead. You can do it. Uh, Peter Piper Picket, a uh, peck of picket paper, a uh, peck of picket paper, Peter Pi Piper Picket. If pe Peter Piper Picket, a uh, peck of picket paper, where, where are the picket paper, Peter pi Piper Picket? Excellent. Thank you very much, my friend. You are doing a very good job. All right. So thank you. Okay. We are going to stop right here with this activity. Don't worry. No more volunteers. All right. So, uh, but remember, right. So it is important, this um, type of activity, so you can improve your fluency, right? Teacher, remember, I want to try. Oh, you want to try? Who was it? Who's that one? Let me see. Because I cannot see this one right here. Reina, is that you? Yes. yes. Okay. Excellent. Reina, go ahead. Peter Piker picked a pick of pickle papers, a pick of pickle papers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a pick of pickle papers, where are the pickle papers Peter Piper picked? Hey, amazing, right now. So you see, you didn't want to participate before, huh? So thank you very much for that one, right? So remember, people, the more you participate, the more you will improve, right? So entre más participe, más eh, mejoran su eh, pronunciation, right? Or su intonation as well. Some twisters, they help you a lot, right? So if not, remember, when you are in the schools, right? So when you are kids, uh, the teachers... At the school of the language, te enseñan trabalenguas para que tú aprendas a hablar más fluido, all right? So this thing happens in English. We have to work with tongue twisters so you can improve your fluency as well. Thank you, and thank you for participating. So now let's just continue with this one, which is going to be the review. Review, 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 review. Excellent. So, hey, everybody, confirm if you can see the new screen. Can you see it? Yes? Hello? Yes. Yes, teacher. All right. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay. So let's see here. Okay. What is this about? It's going to be very simple. This is going to be about the steps for dealing with an angry customer that we checked last night. All right. So those are the same steps, but I need your help to organize them. What is the step number one? What is the step number two? What is the step number three, four, five, et cetera, right? So that is exactly what I need you to uh, help me with right now. Okay, so let's see. We are going to do it together, okay? So everybody, please help me with this one. What is going to be number one? According to what we checked yesterday, what is going to be number one? Mm -hmm. Don't take uh, personality. Okay, excellent. So it's like, don't take it personally. Repeat it, my friend. Take it personality. No, personality, no. Personally. Don't take personality. Person ah. <laughs> don't worry. Just listen and repeat again. Okay. Personally. Personally. There you go. Repeat the whole phrase one more time. Don't take it personally. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right. And yeah, that is correct. That's the, the number one right here. So this is going to be here. Um, for this one here. Number one. Don't take it personally. Very good. Excellent. So that is number one. Very good. What is number two? Anybody else? What's number two? Hmm. Remember that this information was also sent to the WhatsApp group, all right? So if you can check it, it should be there. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. What is number two? Hello, hello. May I remove your emotions from the situation? Remove your emotions from the situation? Are you sure? Maybe. Or actively listen to your customer. Actively listen to your customers? Yes, yes, yes. Or do we have another one? Which one could be? See the situation. What is it? Uh, see the situation from perspective and be actively sympathetic. Oh, actively sympathetic. Actively sympathetic. Okay, very good. And let's see this one. No, oh, what is this one? Number two. From their perspective, right? So exactly. That is the correct one right there. So which is this one? And it's going to be here. Number two. Okay. So we have number two there. What about number three? What's number three? Financial solution. Uh -uh. Everybody, check the WhatsApp number, group. The information is there. Three. Uh huh. Actively, actively listen to your customers. Actively listen to your customers. That is correct. That's number three. Okay, number three, actively listen to your customers. What is number four? Hmm? What is number four, people? Remove your emotion from the situation and look at it objectively. 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 Thank you very much. That is correct, right? So that is the step number four. Four. Sorry, what's the number five? What is number five? Summarize the issue. Summarize uh -huh, the issue. Yay, that's correct. Uh -huh. Summarize the issue. Very good. And what is number six? Find a solution. Uh -uh. Apologize, apologize gracefully. Gracefully. All right. So that's number six. And obviously number seven. Yes, it is. Find a solution, Fine. exactly, exactly, exactly. All right, so remember, those are the steps, right? So that you need to follow whenever you're dealing with an angry customer, right? And uh, let's see here. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so um, thank you for sharing the, uh, the image again. Right, Nuria. So it's in the group. So there's where she was getting the information, right? So those are the steps, right? So number one, let's see one more time, everybody. What's number one? Don't take it personally. Personally, all right. Number two, number two. What is number two? See the situation from perspective and then actively sympathetic. Sympathetic, all right. Excellent. A number three, number three. Actively listen to you, customer. Customers, Customer. all right, excellent. Thank you. All right, so number four. Remove your emo emotion from the situation and look at it objectively. 
There you go. Good job with the pronunciation of objectively. All right. So in the number five. Mm -hmm. Summarize the issue as you understand it back to them to ensure you understand the situation fully. Fully. All right. Excellent. That was actually super good as well. All right. Number six and seven. The same person, please. Number six and seven. Hello? Apologize gratefully. Gratefully? Uh -huh. And? Gratefully. And find a solution. And find a solution. Exactly. Right? So you did a very good job with this one. Thank you, guys. So we have checked this one already here. And it's time for you to move to the next activity here. So I really thank you for this one. All right. So uh, now uh, this is this is just a review about what we were talking about last night. Right. So anoche, uh, we were talking about like angry customers. Right. Y los pasos para poder lidiar con un cliente enojado. Right. In different situations como las que vimos anoche. So like the ones we studied yesterday. Now, let's just continue to see what is going to be the one for today. So, we're going to check a grammar topic first, right? So, in the grammar topic, it's the one that you can see right now on your screens, right? So, transition expressions, adverbs and transition, transition expressions, right? So, it says here, look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercises below. Yes, we're going to review this one right now, but then we are going to... um have some exercises, right? So I need a volunteer who can help me to read this one right here. Volunteer for helping me reading, please. Thank you, Daniel. Transitions were are used that to connect phrases or sentences. They express sequence and progress for one idea to the next. All right, thank you very much. This is what it says right here, right? So the topic for today are the transition words, right? So the transitions words that are used to connect, you see, to connect, to connect, connect phrases or sentences, right? Uh, they express sequence, 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 right? And progress from one, idea to the next all right so basically what this is telling you here it's like uh, those transition words are used to connect ideas para conectar ideas frases u oraciones right that is how we're going to use it ya vamos a ver cómo funciona esto right so uh, daniel can you please continue with this uh, sentences here please when these words are used uh, at the beginning of a sentence, they are followed with a comma. Very good. Just remember, Daniel, this one is no be, it will be by. Like when you say by. By a comma. By a comma, correct. All right. So let's see this one right here. Okay. So now um, on this one, what it says here. Um, it says here that when we use this at the beginning of a sentence, they are followed by a coma. So, utilizamos con una coma cuando van al principio o cuando van en medio también se pueden usar eh, in that way, separados por una coma. So, separate them by a coma. So, for example, tenemos acá, este es el ejemplo, right? So, the example here is first. Everybody, repeat it. First. Repeat it. First. First. Thank you very much, first. right? Remember, it's not right to say fierce. Fierce is not correct. The correct way to pronounce that word is? First. 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 Very good job. And then we have the example right there. Who can help me to read this example? Uh -huh. Volunteer for reading? Fair to have to give options to the customer. To the customers, all right? Excellent. So, and then we have another transition word or another linking word, which is this one. After that, hey, what is the meaning of after that? Después de. 
después de, that is actually correct. All right, and then can someone else continue with the sentence, the second example? Okay, after that, you have to take the payment. The payment, exactly. So basically, estamos hablando de un proceso, right? Y en un proceso hay pasos. In a process, there are steps, all right? So in here, you have two examples of the steps. First, you have to give options to the customer. After that, you have to take the payment. All right, so ahí tenemos el primer paso y el segundo paso, all right? Or, eh, let's continue with the next idea right here. Look at this one, or, oh, ¿verdad? Afterwards. What is afterwards, people? Mm -hmm. Después. Después, are you sure? Are you completely sure about that? Yes? Hello, hello? I'm not sure. Not sure? <laughs> Don't worry, it's part of the vocabulary que vamos a estudiar eh, tonight, all right? Afterwards, eh, which it means just like, or oh, afterwards, what is it? All right, which it means solamente significa, I mean, it significa también después, como me lo acaba de decir el compañero, All right? Tenemos la palabra after, que sería nada más así, after, y también tenemos este sinónimo, this synonym that means afterwards, which it means also después. All right, so, um, what's the difference? It's just a synonym, basically, right? Then um, it says, afterwards, you have to take the payment. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the, re the receipt and you keep a copy, all right? So basically what is happening there is the following. Aquí están los pasos, I mean, los conectores, los transition words, right? You see, all right, so... We have two, two of the um, words that they will never, never, never change the position. And it's first and finally. You know, first will be always to begin with the process. All right? So, siempre first será al principio, at the beginning. All right? Is that clear? Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. And finally, it's the opposite. It always goes at the end. First and finally, never will be used in the middle. Jamás van a ser usados a la mitad del proceso. All right? Because they basically express el principio y el fin del process, right? So, uh, questions? No questions? No questions. No questions. Okay, excellent. So now, part of the vocabulary that we're going to check tonight, it's that one. All right. So it's basically that. So veamos un poco according to that vocabulary here. Okay. So we have more vocabulary now. So tenemos like this slide and the other one for uh, vocabulary, right? Todos estos son, uh, you know, transition words or linking words or sequence words, like it has many names actually, right? But let's say this one. Eh, un process, obviously, que dijimos que empieza con, it starts with? First. First, right? Y podemos también tener una secuencia numérica, como first, second, third, fourth, fifth, etc., right? El primero, segundo, tercero, etc., right? So, or... Nada más utilizamos first y continuamos con las otras que están aquí. All right. So let's see. For example, this one, everybody. Next. Repeat it. Next. 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 All right. Which it means? Now, what's the meaning of next? Siguiente. Siguiente. Okay. Siguiente. Last. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. So let's see. Eh, you go on this one right here. Last. What is last? What is last, last, last? 
Full el último. Exactly. Como último o finally. Veamos aquí que tendremos entonces que last y finally pueden ser utilizadas ambas. All right. So, para finalizar the idea. So, to finish the idea, you can use last or finally, of course, right? Aquí tenemos otra. Look, this one right here can be used as well like this one. Which you got this one. It says, first of all. First of all. First of all. Repeat it. First of all. First of all. First of all. First of all. There you go. Excellent, right? And that is similar to the expression we have in Spanish. Primero que todo, you know, that we use it to start with the idea. All right? Is this clear? Yeah. Great. Awesome. All right. So, and um, then we have the next one after first of all. How do you pronounce the next one, my friends? Uh -huh. Is it? Uh huh. Concurrently. Concurrently. All right. Concurrently. 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 Concurrently, exactly. And concurrently is exactly the same as at the same time. What is the meaning of concurrently? El siguiente paso, el siguiente. Mm, no. Concurrently means at the same time time what is at the same time al mismo tiempo al mismo tiempo exactly right so concurrently it's at the same time so como podría aplicarse concurrently in a step for example you can say eh, pídele la firma concurrently give the credit card back pídele la firma which is like ask for the signature Concurrently, give the car back. Pide la firma y al mismo tiempo devolver la tarjeta, for example. All right? Understand? Yes, teacher. Great. Excellent. So, then, let's continue with this one right here. This is being um, obvia in nuestro Spanish, right? In nuestro, in nuestro language. All right? So, what is it, my friends? What is it? Uh -huh. Inmediatamente. Inmediatamente. All right. So remember que cuando vean palabras con la terminación li, quiere decir mente. All right. So así como actively, activamente, consistently, consistentemente, o immediately, que sería inmediatamente, of course. Right. So then, prior to. Repeat it, my friends. Prior to. Go ahead. Prior to. Prior to. Prior to, exactly, prior. all right? So, what would be prior to? Mm -hmm. Prioritario. Prioritario. Mm -mm. Anybody else? Yes, yes, yes. Prior to, what is it? Any idea? Prioridad. No, it means antes que. Antes. Yes, 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 that's correct. Antes de. All right, so, and then we have then. Repeat it, then. 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 Excellent. Then. What is the meaning of then, people? That is easy. What is the meaning of then? Después. Luego. Después o luego. Me quedo con luego, all right? So, yes. Then, um... Let's go with the next one on the other side. At that time, repeat it, at that time. At that time. At that time. At that time. All right, so at that time, que sería? En ese tiempo, repeat it, en ese tiempo. Exactly. There you go. And then you got this one. Ahí creo que se eh, dividió, pero debería ser la siguiente así, una sola. At this point, repeat it, at this point. At this point. At this point. 
Oh, yeah. yeah, exactly, right? So and what is at this point? En este punto. Right, in este punto, exactly, very good, excellent, all right? So, and uh, then you go on this one, right? Previously, repeat it, everybody, previously. Previously. So, excellent. So, what's the meaning of previously? Previamente. Previamente, exactly, all right, so. All right, then the next one, soon. Repeat it, soon. 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 All right, excellent. So, like that. Uh, soon. What is soon, people? Pronto. Acercar. Acercar. No, no, no. Es, acercar es con, with Z, con Z. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. como, el, como el programa que estamos usando ahorita the program we are using right now Zoom mm -hmm. alright but this one with S con S so Bobby what is it people it has different meanings eh, pronto ¿Ah? podría ser el primero o luego mm -hmm. alright so como adverbio funciona como luego then later next later on now Thereupon, for example, all right? So, eh, vamos, este, vamos claros este momento, people. Do you have questions at the moment? Questions, no questions? No question, teacher. But let's see, thank you. Let's see these ones right here, which are confusing. Before and after. What's the meaning of before and after? Before, before. antes. Ajá. After, después. Después, exactly, right? Very good job. So no, no uh, problems with the vocabulary here. Okay, we finished this slide. We have another slide with more vocabulary. But before I move to the next slide, I have to ask you, do you have questions about this vocabulary here? Mm -hmm. Do you have questions about the vocabulary on this slide? Questions about any of the vocabulary here? Something that it no. was not clear? No, teacher. No, teacher. Mm -hmm. At this point, it's... En este punto. All right, excellent. Thank you. Let's just continue, entonces, with the next slide right here. Okay, here we have more, All right? Can you see them now? Yes? Okay, so yes. it says here, the first one, everybody, follow by, repeat it, follow by. Follow by. Follow by. Follow by. All right, excellent. And what is the meaning of follow by, my friends? What is the meaning? Seguido por. Exactly, seguido por. That is correct, seguido por. All right, so what about the next one that we have right here? It's a super común, right? After that, repeat it, after that. After that. After All right. that. Excellent. So what's this one right here? Next, repeat it. Next. 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 Excellent. Next. This is super easy, right? So, what is that? Lo acabamos de ver anteriormente, right? Next. Before. Siguiente. Ah. Siguiente, right? The o sea, before, after, or oh, repeat it. Okay. Y luego tenemos. Meanwhile, vámonos un solo a la que tenemos ahí porque ya están, ya te hemos visto esta, I'm sorry, all right, esta ya está, y esta ya está, y esta ya está, so this one, meanwhile, repeat it, meanwhile, repeat it, meanwhile, meanwhile, all right, what is meanwhile, people? Mm -hmm. Mientras tanto. Mm -hmm. 
What is it? Mientras tanto. tanto. Exactly, all right? And what is going to be here? The, um, the, um, the meaning, I mean, the pronunciation of the next one. Formerly. What is it? Formerly. Formally. Formally. What is Formally. it? What is, what is Formalmente. It? Formalmente. Okay, very yeah. good. Excellent, excellent. All right, so let's see this one right here. Okay, everybody here, you have questions about this? Hmm? No, not questions. No, no questions. Okay, no problem. So let's just continue with one of the exercises that we have here from the book. All right, so um, I guess it's page 20, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so let me see. Let me clean the screen so you can see it. All right, excellent. Now tell me. Hey, I need a volunteer who can help me to read the instruction. Who can be my volunteer for helping me with the instruction? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, go ahead. Look at the box about the about and complete the following paragraphs. Add punctuations were necessarily. All right, it says punctuation. Repeat punctuation. Punctuation. There you go. Excellent. Thank you. All right. So um, let's see. So what we're we going to be doing there, it's the following here. All right. It says here that uh, we're going to add in those blank spaces. We are going to use four uh, sequence words, right, to continue with that one. And of course, remember that after the sequence word, you go with that comma. That's actually what it says add punctuation whenever it's necessary, all right? So let's see, the first one, what is it? First. First, obviously, that's how we started, right? Y también podríamos usar cuál, la parte de first, en este caso. Mm -hmm. Yes, hello. <laughs> First of all, first of all, exactly right. So first of all, that will be like the correct one. All right. So I mean, first of first of all, cualquiera de las dos. All right. So it's okay. All right. Uh, okay. I need a volunteer who can help me. I mean, who can continue helping me reading. So first, continue, please, volunteer. Me. Okay. First, you have to complete an analysis of the training needs of your employees and choose two processes you would like to improve in your company. Okay, very good, very good. Excellent. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So now let's say this one right here. Okay. And let's see. Uh, the company. What will be like the next step right here? Uh huh. What is the next sequence word? Mm -hmm. After that. After that, could be this one, right? Que otro pudieran utilizar. Meanwhile. Meanwhile, all right. So, you know, it could be cualquiera que nos continúe dando una sequence ahí, right? So, let's say this one right there. And then, what's the next one? It's he is here. Um, well, another volunteer who can help me with the reading, please. Yeah, me, chair. Mm -hmm. Continue. Meanwhile, it is necessary the, to write the content and divide it in modules of or chart chapters. 
All right, so, or chapters, very good. And then what's the next word right there? Mm -hmm. Then um, or afterward. Maybe. Okay, very good. Uh huh. What is it? Afterwards, could be all right. Yes, correct, correct, correct. What else? What else? Let's continue. You need, uh huh. Um, um, um finally, waiting. Mm -hmm. Okay, finally, finally, it's the ultimo, right? Revise the manual and print it. All right, so let's say this one right here. Okay, very good. Thank you, my friends, for helping me with this one. Do you have questions about the vocabulary? Hello? Vocabulary, vocabulary? Like to improvise? Mm, it will be line number one, two, or three. In two, two paragraphs. In paragraph two. All right, so let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, in the line number two, it says, improve. See, you, you, yes. You would like to improve your company, correct? Yes. All right, excellent. So, uh, improve, it will be, what I said there, it will be just basically, um, you know, Mejorar, that's actually what it means. Understand? Yes? Yes. All right, excellent. Another word? Uh huh. Hello? It's the whole vocabulary clear, people? Yes, we can. Okay, cool, no problem. So we can continue with the next activity here, all right? So let's see here. One second, and uh, now I guess I'll show you here. Uh, let me share here a link with you. One second. I'll share the link right now. Excuse me, this is taking a little bit longer, right? I'm just waiting for this link to be working here. One second, okay? In the meantime, let me ask you, ladies and gentlemen, what's the meaning of therefore? ¿Qué significa therefore? What's the meaning of therefore? Eh, después de... Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. What's the meaning of, um, let's see here. There you go. Excellent. What's the meaning of, first of all? Primero que todo. Primero que nada. Right? Todo. Uh, what's the meaning of before and after? Before, antes, y after, después. Awesome, 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 awesome. All right. Let's see this one right here. Okay, everybody, I'm sorry it took a long time, but I asked at least here. All right, so go to the uh, WhatsApp group. I'm going to share a link. Click on the link so you can join here something. Y también lo voy a enviar aquí en el grupo de chat de Zoom, en el chat, I mean, chat here in Zoom. So you can have it here. Vamos a hacer un exercise here. I'm going to stop the share so this can help me to improve my computer. One second. Okay.
Just one second here. Okay, the link is in the WhatsApp group and now here in the Zoom chat as well, all right? Click on the link and then you can enter to it, all right? I'm gonna share the screen for this activity so you can see it as well. So I can see them here, very good, awesome. Amazing, amazing. All right, there you go, excellent. So let's say this one right here, I can see Henry, Nuria, Esme, David, Daniel, Reina, anybody else? It's the Lee, Henry here with the Halloween um, emoticons there, all right? So let's see. The sequence works. Okay, very good. Excellent. Very good, Edwin. So how many are we right now? So we are like 15 and we have nine. Okay. I guess that's enough. One more perhaps, if we can join the 10. Okay, great. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, so we are going to start right now. Si alguien más se puede meter después, no problem, right? Somebody can start this one later. That wouldn't be a problem. Okay, so let's see here. One second. Okay. Okay, excellent. So we can continue with this one right now, my friends here. It looks like the first question right here. All right, so uh, we have the question and it says here, what are sequence words? Try to answer them, all right? So try to answer the questions. Por favor, ingresen ahí en esa question y pongan una definition, right? Or type a definition of what are frequent, I'm sorry, sequence words. Right, so what are sequence words, please? Write it there. What are sequence, se I'm sorry, sequence words? So do we have answers already? <gasps> Nobody has participated. You still have time. Exactly, do we have one answer for David and Esteli? Very good. Hurry up, everybody. Reina, Daniel, Esme, Nuria. Henry, Gustavo, Edwin, Maritza, hurry up. We have a new answer from Reina, okay? Thank you, Reina. Okay, one minute, people, one minute, one minute, one minute. Yes, 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 one minute. All right, all right. Only three people, people, I'm missing nine more. A short definition, come on, 40 seconds. Come on, everybody, please, 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 please. All right, so who is this one? Nuria, okay. Daniel, Esmeralda, Henry, Gustavo, Edwin, Maritza. 20 seconds, 20 seconds, people, 20 seconds. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 15 seconds, 14, 13. 10, all right, all right. So, oh, oh, no more people has entered the answer. Hello, hello, hello. Time's up. Okay, so let's see. Only four people enter the answers. All right, so there you go. Excellent. So, okay, so tenemos what are sequence words. Remember, la pregunta decía que eran 
las Freak Sequence Wars, right? Entonces acá, por ejemplo, tenemos a David Custodio que puso first, first, first. Oh, my goodness, people, right? Hey, I have a question for you, people. Did you understand the question? No? All right, so, eh, okay. ¿Qué dice la question, my friends, here? Can someone tell me? Here? Can someone try to tell me what does the question mean? ¿Cuáles son las, las palabras? Mm, well, in that case, it doesn't say cuáles, sino que qué. Que son las, las sequence words, right? Como una definition. Pero don't worry, va. Let's try again. Hagamos de cuenta y caso que uh, no. Only, right? only read este first, second, then, and finally. Eso que vamos a hacer. No, I'm, I'm asking you, what are sequence words? So people remember, I know these say examples of um, frequency words, right? O no tiene la, um, la question que diga, give examples of frequency words. It says, ¿qué son las sequency words? What are sequency words? All right, so no dice mention some sequency words, right? But don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, all right? Let's start again. Let's restart the answer so we can actually try again. Right? Give a definition con sus propias palabras. ¿Qué son las sequence words? All right? What are the sequence words? Mm -hmm. Teacher, in yes. English. Of course, my friend. Okay. <laughs> Vamos, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Okay, oh, I have more people already. Okay, okay. Lydia, what are you doing? <laughs> Teacher, no sé qué hice, que no me aparece para escribir. <laughs> All right. One second then. All right. All right. So it's supposed to be restarted again. Uh huh. So I can see in English, it's still the first. All right. Good, 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 good. Awesome. Okay, good. That's okay. So, you know, something positive I can mention is that you can, um, you, you're recognizing now, right? So you're recognizing now. So I have right now there, it says, are words for connect ideas or sentences? Perfect, right there. Maritza, sequence words indicate when an event happens in a story. Perfect. Son enlace entre palabras, says Edwin. Well, in Spanish, but it's correct, right? So, let's see. Uh, David Custodio says first, says first, first, Nuria, it's because examples are those that describe a sequence in an event, says Henry. Very good job. Excellent. That sounds like a better answer to me. All right. Let's see. Sequence words are used to connect phrases or sentences. They express sequence and progress from one idea to the next. Oh, my God. That's actually a good one. All right, so anybody else? So let's see here. Thank you, then. Okay. Oh, what happens? It's the word order. Okay, very good. We have this one. Who's missing? Daniel. And what happens, Daniel? You type in the answer. Esmeralda, Gustavo, Gustavo actually joined again, Jill and Evelyn. Okay, let's see. Hold on. Okay, don't worry. Let's just go to the next one. Okay. In this one, my friends, you are going to tell me here what are the... Um, the sequence words, all right? So then, in this part of here, try to tell me what is, uh, what are the sequence words, all right? 
what are the sequence words? Traten de identificar cuáles son las sequence words here. All right. En este párrafo, ¿cuáles son las sequence words? Can you tell me? Uh -huh. Tell me, what, what, what are the sequence words that you can check here in this uh, paragraph? Previously. Afterwards, <laughs> thank you, Nuria. Uh -huh. uh, previously, you said. Okay, very good. Okay. Previously. What else? What else? Last. Recently. Which one? Last. Recently. Recently. Last, last, last. Where is it? Oh, recently. Thank you. After Ursula, very good. Excellent, excellent. There you go. Excellent. So, last. last. All right. Awesome. Thank you very much. Perfect, 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 perfect. All right. So thank you. You did a very good job on this one. So let's just continue with the next one right here, but let me clean the board. All right, good. So let's see. In this one, people, I need volunteers for helping me reading. All right, so who can help me to read the first one here? Me to uh -huh. Go ahead. A sequence words help the, help the reader connect events in a informational a text or a story. A story, very good job, excellent. So you did a good job by reading this one, all right? And then let's just go on the next one. Who can help me to read this one, the next one? Uh-huh. Another volunteer, oh, sorry, go ahead. Who's reading? Oh, okay. Please go ahead. Sequence words help you follow to order the events in a story. Mm -hmm. In a story. Thank you very much. All right. So you did it good. Now let's just continue with the next one. Who can help me to read the next one? Number three. Me, teacher. Okay. Go ahead. A comma follows all sequence words at the beginning of a close or sentence except for them. For them, very good, excellent, thank you. All right, so and someone for the last one, please. There are many sequence words. These are the ones we'll be working with. First, then, next, after that, afterward. Following that, last, and finally. Finally, exactly. And there are some examples, right? So the last, the, the common ones are the ones that they show, show you here, right? So let's see here. We have a question. Question right now, everybody. Question, question, question. Take a look. All right. So it says right here, identify the transition words. Lastly, the teacher told me where I needed to see it. What is a transition word, people? Lastly. Lastly, very good, all right. Ahí estamos, quiero ver quién puso ya. Lastly, Edwin, very good. Reina, as well, he has that one. All right, so let's see. We're missing Reina, Jill, and Edwin, good job. Daniel, David, Esme, Nuria, Henry, Esteli, Gustavo, please. Join it, thank you, Evelyn. Maritza also. Mm -hmm. Ah, share the answer. Enter the answer, people. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So we can see that here. Okay. Okay. Very good. So I can see more people joining this one. Okay. Okay. Very good. So let's see here. Thank you. So you can see that one. Very good. Lastly, 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 lastly. Excellent. Thank you. That's correct. All right. So let's just go with the next one. Next one, next one. Hmm. 
tell me what is the linking word or the sequence word huh what is the sequence word there please Okay, okay. <laughs> Those eggs right there. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, I, I can find and uh, no, no sé dónde escribir, teacher. Oh, but it's supposed to be oh, Really? Sí, no, no a mí no me <laughs> Pero es therefore. Uh -huh, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Let's just continue then. Oh, aquí está, right? Yeah. So only five people in three. All right. So therefore, 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 therefore. All right. Don't worry. Let's continue with the next one to see what is it. Next question. Next question. After that, I walk home with my head held in high. Let's continue. There you go, there you go. So let's see here. 20 seconds, people, 20 seconds. Time's up, so let's see. Mm -hmm. After that, after that, after that, after that. Yay. Next one, next one, next one, next one. Tell me. Aha, uh -huh. I almost completed that. All right, so first, we paint in outside of the house. All right, so, aha. Uh -huh. Which one goes here? I can complete that ahí. What is it? There you go, there you go. Okay, okay. 16 seconds. Thank you, David. After that, after that, after then, second, you know, all of them mm, will be correct. Uh, no, first and next, no puede ser um, la respuesta, right? So, porque la respuesta es, ¿cuál es la que falta aquí? Tal vez solo next, maybe. Next, after that, after, second, then, etc., right? Si, sí, cualquiera está aquí, it's correct, all right? So, like that one, thank you. So, yeah. let's see the next one. Same thing here. Agreguen la que hace falta. You need to add the sequence word that is missing there. Thank you. 
Okay. Okay, so let's see here what happens. Mm -hmm. Therefore, next verse, all right? Therefore, okay, I clean this one, like this one. Okay, hey guys, do you remember what was the meaning of therefore? Yes? Yes. Yeah. What was therefore? Después de. Después de, or uh, exactly, all right? Or it has a meaning of as well como por, like, por lo tanto, right? So, entonces, eh, that's the reason why it goes like this one. Pero, yeah, it's okay. Let's continue. Next one. We almost finish. We almost finish. We only, we are missing four. Okay. Okay, here's a list of things I like about your presentation. Un listado que me gustan sus presentaciones. Y vamos a ver ahí está fácil, right? There you go. Excellent. Thank you. In conclusion, right? Yes. Well, también pudo haber sido finally. Right? Pero en este caso sería queda mejor in conclusion porque estamos hablando de concluir la idea, right? So here's a list of things I like about your presentation. In conclusion, I appreciate your hard work, right? Finally, podría haber sido okay para terminar con una idea, pero de un process. Primero esto, después lo otro, and finally, lo último, right? So, in este caso, aplicaba mejor in conclusion. All right. Let's see this one right here. Read each sentence and use transitional work to show sequence. Susan play basketball at the park. Susan walk home. Hace falta una transitional word. All right. So, what is going to be a transitional word that is missing? Okay, so let's see. Excellent. So let's see here. Ray is winning. All right. Mm, then, all right. So let's hit this one. Okay, no problem. This one, the last one, the last one. 
Okay. After, then, or next. Okay, so let's see this one, waiting for the answers. Okay, let's see. After, 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 after. Vale la aclaración que aquí le marca eh, then como incorrecto porque está, hay que elegir una respuesta correcta, which I said after, right? Pero then can perfectly fit here. Entonces también podría ser then, okay? Let's go with this one. Solo faltan dos. We are missing only two. Okay. Okay, let's see the answers. Hey, very nice winning. Hey, Henry moved as well to number five. Finally, after that, veamos por qué no es finally. Dice aquí, first they went to the movies. Next, they bought candy. They entered to the theater, right? So after that, they entered to the theater, right? So yes, it was here definitely, finally, right? So to conclude the idea. So entiendo por qué se fueron for finally. So don't worry. I understand it, all right? So that's fine. I mean, you're good. Okay, excellent. So we are going to stop it right here. All right, so we finish with this one, people. It was just, you know, what happens in here, it's this one. All right, so Aina, I congratulate you for doing that as well here correctly, okay? So thank you. Thank you, everybody, for participating in this activity. You just demonstrated right now that you know how it works. Acaban de demostrar muy bien que eh, entendieron cómo funcionan, right? So you understand how they work, all right? So, and yes, I understand that, you know, there were some answers that, mire, pero esta dijo que era correcta o esta no, pero as I said before, two answers were possible, but, you know, for the test, we had to choose only one, right? But it doesn't mean that your answer was incorrect. So what's next here? Let's see. All right. So now, my friends, it's your turn. Your turn, your turn for writing. All right. <laughs> Excuse me. It's your turn for writing here. Um, you know, a process. All right. So in we are going to work on this one. All right, everybody, please. I need a volunteer who can help me to read the exercise number seven right here. All right. Exercise number seven. Who can help me to read exercise number seven? Volunteer? My teacher. Thank you. Go ahead, my friend. Why a 10 line paragraph where you describe a process you have to follow in your workplace? Use a transition expression from the box. All right. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, thank you very much. So this is what we're going to be working It's right? To write a 10 line paragraph in a part of the 10 lines where you describe a process you have to follow in your workplace, right? Un proceso que ustedes hagan en su trabajo. And, of course, deben usar un trans transition expressions um, que aprendimos before, right? So to have that paragraph. 
um, completed, all right? And then the exercise number eight, it will be to share the paragraph with the class here, all right? So it's that clear? Yes? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Ah, yes. excellent. Entonces, I'm going to send you to the breakout room so you can work there. And uh, let's see. Vamos a organizarlos like the same as yesterday. All right, so... Let's see here. Let's see, let's see. Veamos. Tenemos here. I'm going to check attendance right now. Voy a hacer la asistencia y a la vez verificar that your listeners or not. Mr. Wilfredo Luna, it's a listener. Nuria, available, right? To participate. Yes, teacher. All right, excellent. So, Reina Elizabeth, eh, listener only, o ya puede participar? Just listener. Okay, very good. Excellent. So, entonces tenemos aquí Henry Giovanni. ¿Cómo está con su connection, my friend? Estoy mejor. Okay, great. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, so it's going to be here. Uh, Henry, Henry, Maritza, Elizabeth, um, are you going to participate or solo listener ahorita? Yes, sí puedo participar. Okay, perfect. All right, so David Custodio, can you participate or only listener? Only listener, okay. Uh, Jill, can you participate now or only listener? Jill, Jill, Jill. Only listener. All right. Carlos Rivas, can you participate? Okay. Yes, teacher. Uh, yes, Carlos. Yes, teacher. Okay. Daniel, can you participate? Yes, I can see you through the camera. Yeah. Edwin Saúl, can you participate now? Yes, teacher. Okay. Excellent. So we're going to be here with uh, this one. Evelyn, can you participate? Yes, I can. Okay, excellent. Y que me dijo Guillermo? Yes or no? I don't remember. Sorry. Just listen here. Okay. So we're going to be here with um, one second. One, two, four. This one, Daniel and Carlos, very good. No, Sonia, Carlos, Daniel, teacher. Yes, present. Okay, let me verify this one. Who was that one, Sonia? Yes, okay, yes, yeah, Sonia, I got it here. Thank you very much. Okay. Noé Gustavo as well, all right? So, very good. So, Noé, can you participate? Yes, yeah, teacher. Okay, cool. So, let's see, Carlos and Daniel, yes. Edwin. Mm -hmm. Go to number two. Go to number four. Okay. Perfect. Okay. I have organized the rooms based on your um, answers. So please go ahead and join them.
Let's see here. Listener, listener, listener. Very good. Me devolvió, teacher. What happened, my friend? Me uní, pero me sacó. Don't worry. Ahorita lo, lo, lo ubicamos nuevamente. Don't worry. Let's see here. Edwin, right? Yes. Edwin. Estamos, Edwin. Go ahead. Hello, hello. Do you have questions about the activity? I think no. No questions. Okay. We, we can use um, to, to try one word. For Excuse example, me? I can use to try uh, them, for example. Oh, you can use twice the same word. Yes. Yeah. yeah, it is possible as long as it's not very frequent. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <coughs> All right. I will be here in case you need help. Remember, this is about writing, so you can help and support your partners. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Remember, if you have questions, I'm here to help you, okay? Okay, get it. All right, I will go to a different room right now. I'll be back in a moment. Okay. Hello, hello, my friends. Do you need help? Hello, teacher. Questions? For the moment, 
No question. Not at the moment, all right? So remember, párrafo de 10 líneas using the sequence words, de un process que ustedes hacen in your job, right? Okay. okay. I work in homework. <laughs> Excuse me? I work in homework. <laughs> Oh, working at, oh, in the homework. Okay. Ah, the homework. We are in the class right now, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's see. It's Okay, I will go to a different room. If you need help, you can call me, okay? Thank you. I may leave. Hello. Hi. Hey, do you have questions with the activity? Oh, about the activity, I'm sorry. No, by the moment. Not at the moment. All right. Excellent. So I will be here just for a couple of minutes. If you have questions, just let me know. Okay. Okay.
okay i will go to a different room if you need help let me know okay oh. No question. Okay, I'm going to stay here in the room for a couple of minutes. In case you have a question or anything, just let me know, okay? Okay, teacher. <laughs> the process to create the participation Questions, questions at the moment? No, no, okay. I will go to a different room and if you need help, let me know, okay? Okay. Hello again. Questions? Help? Um, you have a question I or something? I don't remember the meaning of three or two. Excuse me? Three or two, I don't remember the meaning. Previo a. Previo. Mm -hmm. Prior to. Prior to. Mm -hmm. Puede ser como previo a o antes que. You know what you're saying. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome.
Any other question? If not, I will go no, to a different room. Okay. Thank you. Teacher. I will just Thank go you. for the last round and then we will finish and then you can present your paragraph. Okay. 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 All right. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. 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 Questions? Help? No, teacher. Okay. Very uh, good. Even you finish. Oh, you finished? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Perfect. So, yes, we. I'm just, you know, going to the second round here, room by room, and then we are going to finish. So then you can present your paragraphs. Okay. 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 So in that case, I will go to a different room right now. So just making sure that everybody has finished, okay? Okay. Thank you. So let's see here. Let's go to the next room. Hello, hello. How are you guys? Do you finish? Do you need help? Questions? No questions, Dijo. So you finished? Yeah. Yes. Okay, great. So we're going to stop right here the, in the room. So we're going to go back to the main session and then we can share some of the paragraphs. Okay. Let's see. We are going to wait for everybody else to join the class again. Okay, waiting for everybody else to join. Okay, okay, so let's see. Excellent, everybody is in the room right now. So I wanna ask you everybody, do you have, um? Do I have, sorry, a volunteer here? Any volunteer who can actually share their paragraph? Me, teacher, but only reading. Only reading, okay, no problem. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. First, I turn on the light. First, I turn on the light. Then I drink a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. After that, I clean my desk. Mm -hmm. Afterwards, I turn on the computer. Then I start to check my email. At the same time, I review the schedule of the day. Immediately, I send the information to my boss. Next, I make some calls. And finally, I attend some meetings. That's it. Okay, great, excellent. And a very good job applying the sequence words, right? So very nice, very, very, very good. Congratulations. Good job, good job. Thank you. Gracias. Thank you in English. <laughs> sorry, sorry, thank you. <laughs> All right, good job, Ursula. You did a good job. Okay, now, uh, next volunteer. Me, teacher. 
Hey, Evelyn, we want to hear your paragraph. Please go ahead, continue. Okay, in my work, I perform a different sewing operation. First, I check that I check that the machine is well adjusted for the operation. Mm -hmm. I am going to perform. Then I do a test on the fabric that we use as a test. After having test the machine, I can do the operation on it. The original uh, piece, mm -hmm. uh, finally, I check the quality and move the garment to the next operation. Fi finished it. That's it, Daraya, amazing. Thank you very much, all right? So I'm happy because I'm able to hear you reading all those paragraphs, applying the grammar that we have been studying tonight. So yes, good job on that one. So applause for you too, good job. All right, awesome. Thank you very much. All right, so let's see. Next one, next one, next one. My teacher. Thank you, Edwin, right? Yes. Okay, go ahead, my friend, please. In my case, they use adverbs in my work. And when I get to work, I first open the store. Then I open the casual history. We always hold meetings with the work team. I make weekly schedules. Sometimes I go to office for training. I often order my merchandise. Okay. I usually take inventories every week. I never take my lunch course in full because I always have too much work to do. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. Yes. Very good. Awesome. And daily in uh -huh. I daily in the evenings I have a flash after work. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay, great, great, great. Excellent. Thank you. Right. A, a lot of details. And I really like how you structured the ideas. So good job, my friend. Thank you very much. Right. I like it. Good job. Good job. All right. Anybody else? Me, teacher. Hello, Nuria. Tell us, please. Go ahead. Uh, first, I have to check how many work orders I have pending. Uh, then I identify what place are from. After, I proceed to asking the work orders to the technicians. Mm -hmm. Finally, I confirm with the clients that the technician will be visiting. Visiting, then yeah. To carry out installation or repair mm -hmm. of, of service. Okay, very good. Excellent. Thank you. All right. So I like it. So very good job as well. Thank you, my friend. You did a fantastic job as well. Right. Thank you. Oh, I can see a volunteer here, which is Daniel. Hello, Daniel. Hi. Um, Go ahead. Okay. First, visit client, but you're all call client to your home. Uh, after that, review work area. The, them take list of my materials needed and finally install equipment equipment mm -hmm. yep okay excellent thank you my friend you did a good job as well as well as well very good thank you thank you thank you very much good job good job all right awesome thank you another volunteer Me teacher. Thank you, Sonia. Go ahead, my friend, please. The process to create the participation certificate. Mm -hmm. Fears of all the clients might is investment after that the instruction 
is into the corresponding area. The certificate is created is immediate, immediately. Immediately? Immediately sent okay. to the clients by mail or by the courier. After that, the client returns in signet. It is uh, scanned. After that, it is uploaded to the system. And finally, the document is destroyed. Okay, excellent. Thank you. It's a long process, by the way. All right. So a lot of things to do, a lot of information you share with us tonight. All right. That's actually good as well. Thank you. Let's see. Another volunteer, please. Hello, hello. Ah, uh, come on, everybody, volunteers, before we go to sleep. So we have here, let's see, Maritza, Noe, um, Reina, then, no, Daniel already participated. Um, Carlos, uh huh. Come on, people, one more. We are about to finish. Hello, hello. Okay, one more, please. The last one, the last one, people. Just the last one. So before we go to sleep. Henry, all right. Thank you, Henry. It's here. Mm -hmm. Pero solo tengo una duda eh, yes. sobre la palabra registrarme. Mm, what do you mean? ¿Cómo se? Eh, eh. Por, por ejemplo, prim, yo voy a comenzar primero, necesito eh, registrarme. O sea, que hay que marcar, no sé, a mí. Marcar la entrada en su trabajo. Ah, entonces. No, no, no encontré cómo. No problem. Entonces yo le puse así. First, I need to register. I need to register. Then I need to draw on my computer and store on the printer. Afterwards, I make the schedule for the week. Mm -hmm. uh, immediately, meet, meet to talk about the project that are uh, identified before identify. launch. Identify. Before launch, I call community community leaders during lunch we talk to the song thing mm -hmm. next to lunch worker on project report and finally we we meet with the operation operation and technical team okay excellent 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 all right so Thank you, my friend. That's actually a very good job, all right? So it just like with the expression that you mentioned before, all right? So you were talking about, um, I'm talking about those tools like, um, I go to the biometric clock systems, could be one of them, que es el, lo que llamamos el marcador, right? Um, so let's see this one right here. One quick second. Biometric clock systems. This is how you call this one. All right, and uh, let's see. Um, I check my attendance, say like I register my attendance, right? Like this one. Like this one, all right. Take a look. Right. 
There you go. You see it, Henry? Yes? Okay. Thank you. All right. Excellent. So, well, everybody, we are going to stop right here. Um, Let's see this one here. And we are going to punch in and out. And punch out. There you go. Excuse me. All right. So let's see here. One second. I'm just going to share something else right here. También se puede decir de esta manera. I just remember it. Antes de que se me vaya y se me olvide. Punch in and punch out. De entrar y salir. All right. Lo pueden encontrar de esa manera. Como punch in, punch out. Que es la más común, actually. Punch in, punch out. Or you can say register my attendance in the biometric lock systems. Sería otra forma de decirlo, right? Longer. But I guess the correct phrase number will be punch in and punch out. So that one is the best one for that activity. All right. So, well, excellent. Ahora sí. Now, yes, officially, I just going to say um, that we'll finish the class right here. Please do your homework, right? This is the second week. So your homework should be completed, all right? So um, during the weekend, probably tomorrow, uh, I'm going to check. Voy a revisar cómo vamos con las homeworks y le voy a estar escribiendo personalmente, of course, right? Para recordarle cómo van y um, si le hace falta algo que lo completemos, all right? Así que uh, si no le escribo es porque you, you're good, all right? So no problem. All right. So I will see you on Monday. Have a nice weekend, my friends. And also have a good night. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.